Listen to how quiet that is. We are over here at 580 Ortega, which is above the Intercent Set near Golden Gate Heights. You come in, it's one way here. The other way goes that way. And we are here to see this pretty amazing house. Now you can see the whole series here. They built these all around the same time. Mid-century, California, sort of boxy, but this is not that. This is a labor of love that the owners did uh, just a few years ago. And you can see, as you'll see, it's amazing. So when you come in, you're like, oh, gravel. Oh, it's a little weird, mulch, there you go. But don't let that deceive you because when you come in, you see this. Here's Debbie, our listing agent. She says hello. <laughs> and then you see a 22 and a half foot atrium goes all the way, but what's that purple You'll notice that. That's, um, that's <laughs> My gosh, look at that outfit. I don't think it's But take a look. This is amazing. Ah, take a look at that. So you've got the park up there, Golden Gate Heights, that's where it centers around. Um, you see that's 11th Avenue, Fenton actually, 11th Avenue is behind this particular look here. You've got uh, the Sutro Tower over there, Sutro Hill, UCSF is back here, there's USF, there's the Bay, Angel Island, the Ferris Wheel in uh, Golden Gate Park, you see the VA, there's the Golden Gate Bridge back there, and then that's all Golden Gate Park, there's Kizar Stadium. You see everything. And coming down here, you see that you don't really have a yard. You have land, but it doesn't go back there. But take a look at this. It's amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So look at this. Look at this. These are all sliding here. They're perfect. And beautiful stucco here. And let me come in. Yeah, thanks. And what you'll notice is the detail, the attention to detail, and how everything is so sharp. The millwork is great. They've got the outlet covers, the recessed lights are all LED. Look, they're integrated right into the sheetrock. That takes a lot of time, effort. And coming in here, you see the kitchen. I love this kitchen. You've got the sliding range. I love the hood. I love the use of the hex tile here, the floating shelves with the exposed hardware. This is part of oak. You've got the LED lights here. We've got a Caesar stone or a quartzite product here, and then cabinetry. Let's see, opens that way, it's really nice. You've got a nice sink, porcelain farmhouse sort of sink in there. You've got this stone, which is really soft to the touch. And then the views. So we've got 2,500 square feet, I love all that detail. 2,500 square feet. You've got, um, when you first come in here, you've got, I love these, uh, shelves. You've got a um, bathroom. The bathrooms are really quite special. That's Victoria and Albert, wonderful brand here. Part of the Roll family. We've got this really lovely shelf here. Nice tile work. Again, with these lights, which are integrated in. And over here, you've got laundry. Even the touch of detail here, you've got nice edge poles. It's always about look, touch, and feel. At least that's what we think. Nice washer dryer here. Little linen closet, storage closet here. And before I forget, the ceiling heights here on this level are eight and a half feet, they're about eight foot seven. So let's go over here and let's go up. That's a Pablo fixture. He's a local designer here uh, in San Francisco, from Brazil, I love it. 22 and a half feet, like we said, from down there to up here. And then we've got four bedrooms, maybe five? I'm not sure, so let's look. Bedroom number one. I love the little ceiling tile with the light fixture, double pane windows in black, very smart. Even the dimmer switches are cool. Oh, for the fan and for the lights. And then over here, closets are nice. Hardware is really nice, nicely done, substantial. 
alcoves storage here and then going through here 2500 square feet radiant heat by the way radiant heat by the way love this bathroom dual vanities you have the combo sinks here take a look at this love the shower rain shower head up there it's kind of above got the penny towel here wrapped in the cedar stone and on these joints here take a note of that again that circular dot the rain shower the pablo fixtures there is an idea and theme see same thing here same thing there and then same thing there it's one of the reasons why this house works same thing there so coming through here again with the shelves and then you've got this beautiful room here coming through here Look at this. This is probably, yep, the primary. Closets are all here. Very cluttered. A lot of times you walk in closets, you get lost in it. But this is a smart allocation of space. Lovely cabinetry here. Casement windows all can open. I think they're casement, I think they might be transom type. Look at that view. Good gravy. That is a view. Now, primary suite here. Floating vanity. You've got the tub. Oh, love it. It's an acrylic finish here. I love that little edge there. You know, good kind of detail. Vertical tile here. Nice sink. And your shower. Again, with the skylight above. Take a look up there. And then, toilet in the commode is nice. Pocket door here. Great hardware. Look, touch, and feel. And the color is very sleek. Now let's look. Nice thermostat. Remember, radiant heat. Two ports. So, one, two, three, four, five rooms. Or well, it could be office. This one's probably more an office, smaller, could be a nursery or whatnot. To go with the trim, very nicely done. It's the view. Back through here. Hey, John, how are you? Good to see you. Yep, today's like reunion day for all the agents. So, this one's also on suite and take. A look at this. I love the textile. Remember downstairs there's textile. There was a stone. Really clever. Medicine cabinet this way. Probably a room where I suspect it is. It looks really nice. Oh, that is nice. Love the light in. The circular light here is great here. You can do it that way. There's a the toilet again and that wood theme, but I love this shower. So this one doesn't have a skylight, but it has a little hand wad, it has a rain shower, and I love that light. So Really, just a special home skylights over here. Now this one has a slightly limited view. I love saying that because it's so much good. Take a look. Also, straight on over the Golden Gate Park, the Ferris wheel, we see the De Young. It's kind of like just a land, landmark spotting here. It's so very, just a very understated house. No views, very quiet. It's amazing to take a look at that. I think they're five. Four, or you could use that if you wanted to, too. It's, it's pretty amazing. It's radiant heat, and it's just warm and nice. And we're going to show you the functional part of the house, which is the garage, because we have to show you the functional part. And then you actually have this as uh, entry closet as well. Again, with the storage. Let's take a look here. So you've got this big garage here, and it actually goes pretty far back. That's your boiler that handles domestic hot water supply and the, um, there's the tank, uh, hold that, and then uh, the garage is pretty substantial. Nice storage as well. Let's see if this has more juice in it, just a little bit. It is a 24 foot garage. So really just a fantastic home. Uh, Debbie is gonna take offers on Wednesday, I think it's February 8th. All line to see two. And you've got this. It's really amazing. Debbie, thank you so much. You're it's you. just, I love it. It's great. Good to you see you too. Buy. I think I could buy it. I don't, you never know, right? But uh, never say never. And I never say never, right? Thank you, Debbie. Take care. And I'll see you next time. Bye, Mark. Bye. See you. See, oh, and I love the little wood finishes here. Double wide garage door, which is rare. It's not just cool. They won't let you do that anymore. But um, yes. So what'd you think? I think, oh, there's the, the Japanese style wood there and the stucco up there, proper venting up there, all that good stuff. I hope you liked it.
I loved watching, uh, I loved walking through it, and I hope you enjoyed watching it as well. All right, that's Kevin Ho. I will see you at the next one. Thank you. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. All right, take care. Thank you.